친절한 경제 돋보기 온라인 대변인 브리핑 Recently, the international community's evaluation of Korea is getting better and better. At MOF for You, we are to commemorate the fourth anniversary of the Moon Jae-in administration. Turning a crisis into an opportunity, we've outlined the progress in promoting and implementing economic policies. Launched on May 10, 2017, the Moon Jae-in administration pushed ahead the paradigm shift to a people-centered economy based on innovation, inclusiveness, and fairness to solve the two issues which are low growth and poor distribution. And in the early 2020, facing an unprecedented pandemic with the resulting economic downturn, the Korean government is pushing for preemptive policy responses with the goal of a transition to quick and strong economic recovery and big change to a leading economy. Regarding the macroeconomy, the country has reached the global top 10 through effort to respond to the COVID-19 crisis, maintain export, and increase external fiscal soundness. Furthermore, the GDP for the first quarter of this year has exceeded the level before the crisis. The average growth rate, which is evaluating the comprehensive impact and recovery due to COVID-19 between 2020 and 2021, is also expected to surpass that of developed countries. Based on those positive economic indicators, S&P, Moody's, and Fitch, the three major credit rating institutions are evaluating Korea's international credit rating stable. And the National Deport to Risk CDS premium has also hit its lowest level since the 2008 global financial crisis. In addition, to accelerate innovative growth across the economy, the government is working hard to create a second venture boom and establish infrastructures for the new industries such as DNA and Big 3, as well as strengthening the competitiveness of materials, parts, and equipment industry, fine and foster future industry. Compared to 2017, venture investment in 2020 has doubled, and unicorn companies that have a corporate value of more than 1 trillion won have more than quadrupled. The government is focusing on the big three, which is future cars, system on a chip, and biohealth, and the materials, parts, and equipment sectors. Foreign dependency on 100 key items has decreased, including three major items regulated by Japan. Through innovations such as regulatory sandboxes, and the introduction of negative regulatory systems. It also attracted 1.5 trillion Korean won in investments and created 3,037 jobs. To help all citizens enjoy the economic growth, the government is striving to increase household income and lower spending burdens by closely establishing employment and social safety nets for the vulnerable. Employment declined by 0.8% and the unemployment rate increased by 0.2% compared to major countries. As a result, household income is also on the rise. The number of employment insurance subscribers is also going up from 84% in 2016 to 89% in 2020 for regular workers, and 43% to 46% for non-regular workers. The government is trying to reduce the blind spots in the social safety nets, expanding the number of basic livelihood security recipients and the amount. Efforts are also being made 
to reduce the burden on healthcare, education, housing, telecommunications, and transportation. Making the policies, such as reducing the items that are not covered by national health insurance, creating a national system for dementia, and free high school education. Recently, in the Korean economy, there have been many positive signals, such as export rate increasing six months in a row, employment rate rising two months in a row, and maintaining international credit stable. The Ministry of Economy and Finance, MOAB, will do our best to spread the positive signals to everyone in Korea. That's it for today's MOAB for you. If you have any questions about MOAB for you, please leave a comment. Please subscribe and set the notification for the next MOAB for you. Thank you. See you next time.